Alright, today we're going to be taking on Andariel. At the suggestion of um, Highlander last episode, I've put some bolts in my offhand hand, since I don't really need a melee weapon now anyway. I'm putting out enough damage as crossbow. I also should be getting a extra slot belt, a larger belt, but um, I haven't been able to find one in the shops yet, so we'll have to see if we can pick one up. So, if I remember correctly... The stairs were towards the blacksmith, but somewhere to the left. So just get those guys off my tail. Now, depending on how long it takes to kill Andaril, this might be a one or two part episode. We'll see how I go. Can be a bit of a longer fight, but I think ranged characters do have an advantage in this one. Once I get close to her, I might have to, um,. Get some really good poison defense items to avoid those ranged poison attacks that she puts out. Now, I believe there is a waypoint on the next level, so I'm going to have to remember to grab that. Just in case I have to cut the episode short and eat a half waypoint. Now, the build thing is interesting. Um, the insta heal potions, well, the almost insta heal potions in this. It's something that has makes hardcore a little bit easier. You can pop a lot of rejuvenation potions if you have to, especially if you're in a boss fight. But um, in Diablo 3, it feels like that your character is going to be feeling a lot more mortal with the um, the cooldown health potions and health globes and the whoa, that's not good, and the um, non-instant town portals. I think it's going to make for a much more paced and enjoyable experience in Hardcore, actually. I'm quite looking forward to it. Anything interesting? A longbow. I don't have my follower. Alright, I'm going to pop back to town and grab a follower and sell some stuff. Okay, and we're back. It was a bit silly not having a follower with me. I'd like to um, take a second to thank everyone that's been watching up to this point. I really didn't expect anyone to watch it in these this series. It was um, more for myself than anything, and um, I just wanted to get that practice in before making more videos in the end, because it's a learned skill like anything else, and if you want to get good at it, you have to do it a lot. So everyone that has been watching has been, it's been really awesome, and um, especially anyone that's left feedback, that's very helpful. So if you have any feedback on anything I should adjust or change, feel free to leave it in the comments. I do try to take all feedback on board. In my opinion, this jail section is where this act falls apart. Up to this point, I think the first act's really fun and unique and it looks good, but this jail section, although a little bit dark and scary, is mostly boring. It all looks the same, all of the levels, and there's like five levels. They all have different names, but they all look exactly the same. And it's sort of, sort of just a grind to get through them. So if I skip over some bits, don't feel like you're missing anything. I'm pretty much just be fighting these guys over and over again. While navigating through cell blocks and stone corridors. Picking up bosses through bars like this. Whoa, okay. That is a bit of a worry. I thought I was very far away then, but not as far as I thought. Didn't realise the Nova would reach out so far. And you still probably saw how much health that wiped out in one go there. Get out of here. Anything interesting? Not really. Alright, looks like we've found the steps. I can't... No, I think jail level 2 has the next teleporter. So we can just head straight down here, no point in searching the level. It's really not that much to be gained from it. Good work, Leanne. Okay. Oh, I've got a lock chest. Oh, charm. Nope, don't have an identifier. Oh well. I don't really want a low quality dirk. Thanks anyway. Now, I might be able to actually get an extra video out today. I was um, planning on playing Playham, which is a 
StarCraft 2 cash tournament that runs every day, but it um, starts at 10 a.m. here. And for some reason, the page wouldn't load, so I ended up not getting onto it until 10 a 10 or 2 or something, and missed out on the enrollment. So. Although that's a shame, it does present its own opportunities. Opportunities for more Diablo. Although I do like to get some more StarCraft practice in, so I might might do that as well. Just do some plain old ladder games, maybe I'll make some videos of that if I have any more interesting games. Alright, so it looks like I'm running low on bolts. We'll use our reserve bolts. Very nice. I suppose eventually I'll have some sort of different type of weapon on there. Something that gives me different utility. Oh, I've got a yellow shield. It's not very handy. But nice to see nonetheless. Hmm, where to go? I do actually need to find the teleporter in here, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit more thorough. Hopefully I'll find that first. Yeah, I found all of the teleporters so far, so I might as well continue that trend. Hmm. Oh, close the door. Hmm, okay, we've got the steps. Jail level. Three. Let's have a look around now on a map. You can just do this with the arrow keys, so. Looks like there might be something down there. Um, if I go through here. Getting opened. Send some exploity arrows into those guys. I'm enjoying my exploity arrows. I'm not using coal or anything like I thought I would. I will be using coal on Endarial though. Try and keep my distance behind these guys because they drain your mana when they hit you. Which is not really life draining, but it is a pain. More champions. Whoa! So there's a gargoyle trap up there. Oh, another one. <laughs> Must be on the right trail. I don't know how these guys hold gold or potions. Or why. Oh, I'll grab some more bolts. I don't know where Leanne is. Looks like she's trapped. No, she'll, she'll catch up eventually. I'll be okay. I am not having much luck fighting this teleporter. Oh, these guys are a bit of worry. Looks like there's a boss with them too. Send some bolts in there. Oh, Leanne. I can send her a potion, maybe. There we go. Keeping her alive. Pit spawn foul dog. Oh, More cold enchanters. I've really got to look out for those enchantments on them. Alright, looks like I'm going to do a quick town run. Actually... I can't. Okay, that's bad. Always rebuy your teleport scroll. I don't like to carry the books because they take up extra space, but if I'm not responsible enough to carry more scrolls, I might have to. So I'm going to have to either find the teleporter, which means leaving some gear behind. That's okay. I've got plenty of gold. But it also does put me at risk of dying something stupid. Uh, it looks like I can't. The teleport not put on my not even be on this level. Which is a pain. I suppose I got some experience though. Which will come in handy in the fight to come. Get out of here, go all trap. Okay. We'll just head down then. I know there is one in the next sort of, um,. The inner cloister, which is almost identical to the outer cloister, but underground with grass for some reason. Actually, I've never really thought about the architecture of this place. It might go downstairs and then back upstairs. And getting it leveled. Dodged. Throwing our points. And we'll stick another point in exploiting arrow since I'm having fun with it. 
Yay, town portal. Okay. I will head back now. Okay, we're back. I just ended up selling my stuff and getting some more teleport scrolls. I'm shuffling around a bit of maintenance. A bit of inventory management. Looks like Leanne's getting more levels, that's good. Nope, that's a pointless room, don't go into there. If this jail level gets too boring, I might even just skip this whole section out of the video. Because nothing is happening in here. Wow, this is painful. Where haven't I been? Go south a bit more. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> here was the entrance, and here was the exit. I searched. <laughs> oh. That is painful. And that was right, the inner cloister is up. Doesn't appear to be outside though. But, you know, there's grass, so. Maybe that's some sort of tainted moss. Tainted evil. Evil, evil moss. Okay, that was a pointless lab. Cathedral. Alright, now. Whoa, there's a lot of guys in here. How did I see all them? That light radius. Let's take out this guy. Get out of here. Now, I'm pretty sure there's always a unique boss up here somewhere. And um, this place isn't procedurally generated, I'm pretty sure it's always the same. Need to take out these shaman. So I can't, can't quite remember how hard this boss is either, so I'm just gonna take out all these guys before I move on. Just to be safe. And give myself plenty of room to run back if I need to. Not Steel green, is this them? Immune to fire. Tough, not immune to poison. I don't think that was the boss. Yeah, there he is, Bone Ash. I need mana. Oh, look at all those stats. Magic resistant. Extra strong, cold resistant. Some good old fashioned poison arrows do the trick. Looks like Leanne got the full brunt of that Frost Nova. Some stud leather, that actually might be handy. Got plenty of town scroll, town portal scrolls now. Um, I don't have any identifiers, as per usual. It's okay, we can wait for armor. Now, which way? Not in here. Okay, to the catacombs. Um, sounds a little bit different, but pretty similar to the jail. Just more stone and doors and dark corridors. Whoa! A big <laughs> flock of these guys. A gaggle of flock. But for some reason, little rat men would show up, like the um, guys from Act 3. Don't know how they got this far out. Let's throw Leanna potion. That's only a trick I figured out recently, actually, is that you can hold shift and press one of the potion keys to give you a follow or a potion. I don't feel too bad though, because one of my friends didn't even realise that you could put gear on your follower until just recently. So, there's still things to learn about this game, even for someone that's been playing it for years and years. Is there any identifiers? Oh god, this hard level. Yeah, I'm still picking up things on this playthrough and things that I've been reading online recently. It's going to be very exciting playing Diablo 3 when it's a completely new game and no one knows no one knows all the secrets or the tips or 
There's so much undiscovered, and if there's like a secret cow level, the first person to discover that is going to be immortalized in history. So, there'll be plenty of people rushing towards the end as well. I don't plan on being one of those people though. Let's take my time. It's, it's gonna be thousands of people that beat me towards the end. But, playing through at my own pace, I think, is the best way to enjoy the game. And that's why I like hardcore. I need to take out that shaman, these guys are annoying. Gargoyle trap. Again, poisoning a gargoyle trap. Probably even worse than poisoning a skeleton. Ah, uh, nope, 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 nope. Alright, we've encountered our first spiders. Man, they put out some serious fluids when they die. Is anything interesting going to be down this, in this corner of the map? Well, more spiders. Uh. Wonder if there are any spider mods made for this, like there was for Skyrim. Replacing the spiders with teddy bears. Okay, Catacombs level 3. Now, is this the one for Endarial? No, I don't think it is. Hey, my first green! <laughs> it's a little bit late to be starting a set. I love greens, but I never can never get the full set of the first tier, like earlier gear. Even staying in Act One for ages to try and get them. And it's always so frustrating when you have four piece, four pieces of a five piece set, and um, you move on in the game and start getting sets from later tiers. It looks like this is the end aerial fight. So I'm not going to be saving and quitting because I didn't get the the um, teleporter. Excuse my knuckle cracking there. I tend to do that whenever I stop. Um, so I'm not going to save and quit here because I would have to travel really far to get back. But I will do a, a town run and everything and then um, I'll start the next video after this one. So as always, thanks for watching guys.